monster. Yeah, that's me. What did I what did I do? Why does he have a camera? Why, Why is there another camera right there? Why'd you steal my lighting rig? I don't know how these got here. I don't know what's going on. When did you Did you guys get set this up while I was gone? There's a price that must be paid, Zero Master. My name is Zero Master, so I paid zero? Zero translates to VHS. VHS? We don't have a VHS player. I have my Mitsubishi Evo VCR. Okay, what are we watching? I'm glad you asked. We're watching Mega Man Cookies Jar. Oh, that's the cookie jar you gave me. Oh, right. I gotta swap the boxes. Hold on. Why are you filming? We're, we're going to watch... Nintendo Entertainment System commercials. Two hours of worldwide ads. Oh. You, you can watch commercials from Japan, the United States, Europe, did you just, Australia? Did you just bring this to watch commercials? Europe. Is there a reason why Nintendo? We had these. You just not gonna have VCR. Just gonna leave this back in the box. Okay, Mike Tyson. But we're not going to watch that. Okay. You know what we are going to watch? Oh, we're not watching that either. Actually, what are we going to watch? Is there some reason we're doing this? Because we are obliged to rip off one far more popular show every year that we come to this convention. Oh, oh god, no. What are our choices, Zero? Um, let's see, we got... Star Ocean EX! The, the in, in Inception! Who you know, greenlit this? What's the runtime? You've you spent four ninety nine at Fast Food Anime. For it doesn't this. matter what the runtime is. We're not going to watch it. So <laughs> okay. Next up, we have Mega Man Upon a Star. Oh, I know about this one. Uh, you know about this one? This is the OVA from uh, that was made Japan Japan only. Japan. Japan. <laughs> um. So yeah, this is the OVA series. Does this have all three? I don't know. It does have all three episodes. Okay. Okay. We're not doing all three if we land on it. Next up we have Wild Arms, The Good, The Bad, and The Greedy, Volume 1. Oh. And who the fuck is this kid? If only CJ was here with this. Yeah, CJ, is this is this Wild Arms? Is this real life? Is, is that the son of one of the characters in the first Wild Arms? I never saw him. The first I mean, there's five episodes. This blue hair guy. Let me find this shit. What? Uh... Play it, trade it. For three ninety nine. Yeah. Alright. It's clearly well liked. What, what, what's what is next? next? Darkstalkers out of the shadows. Look at this front case. Ooh. I don't think Morgan wants 13 to it. hair raising episodes. Well, it, it it's technically true. I mean, they don't say why it would be Look at the merman in particular seems a little apprehensive. I think he's worried about like they invested more into the silvery effect on the Dark Souls series. Logo. That is probably the entire series. Oh my god, why do you own this? Why don't I own this? Alright, what else is there? Next we have WrestleMania the arcade game. Mm. Strategies <gasps> and secret codes, the video guide. Wait, did I read that right? Yeah, I did. Strategies and Secret Codes, the video guide. Cut to Oni Rokaku telling us exactly what this is. What did he Jump miss? Jump cut. What did he miss? I don't know. We just missed what he said. And we have a, a rather blurry, pixelated interpretation of... It, it, is that Bret Hart's? I don't know wrestling. Um, it, it looks like he either got thrown or is falling onto Undertaker. And you can see the pixels of white around him. Let's get a good close up of that. Look how pixelated that is. That's because it's out of focus. Oh god! Coliseum video, eh? Wait, it, the tape comes in both sides! Yeah, they uh, they didn't think that through. Oh. How many Why of these fucking things do you have? Next? 
Uh, Rayman's Dream Team. Exclusive look. Ubisoft's best Nintendo 64 lineup ever. And setting the bar low. Of Rayman the Animated Series. All three Buy games. Buy two, get one free. Buy two what? Two look games. inside for a special offer. Two VHS tapes? Rayman the Animated Series. They had an animated series for yeah. Rayman? Apparently. Ooh. Four exclusive episodes. It's okay, we won't land on it. Okay, this one, I don't if we don't get land on it, this is this is my uh, emergency pay. Well that's next Zero Master. Captain Power and the Soldiers of Future. Wait, isn't this a board game? No. Oh. Raid on Volcania, skill level three. This is for a board game. This is for no, a game. Not. It's not a board game. It's for a game though. Maybe. It's like an interactive video. VHS game or something, right? I think calling it interactive is giving it a little too much credit. This looks like an Atari 2600 case. But it's skill level 3, so you know it's good. I like that it opens from the side, like all the bootlegs. It, the label isn't even on the tape! It's not, it's not even on the tape! It's like misangled. Look at this! But you gotta save money sometimes. It must have been, the guy must have been like, oh, it's almost lunchtime, so I'm not going to try on this one. He didn't see the tape. Next we have Pokemon training card game, Trainer Video. Trainer Video? I never played the It's trainer. not for resale, so you must have gotten this exclusively. I did have a Nintendo Power subscription. Is that what I came with? I don't know. I don't think you so. You bought it, didn't you? Some of these videos have just been laying in my collection oh, for years. no label, but at least it's etched on the tape. I, I used to get Pokemon trading cards with Nintendo Power and I would just give them away to my one friend who gave me shit. You didn't really like Pokemon that much, did you? I I played some of the Pokemon games. Did you play that one really that you gave yet? A little bit. What do you think of it so far? It's Pokemon. Okay, cool. What's next? Next we have VCR Gallery of Games. For one dollar, is that from A and G? Maybe, or it's oh, A six. Oh, okay. We might be playing Vega. It's <laughs> it's actually Doorways to Horror. Hold on, let's see. Are Doorways ready? to Horror. Are you ready to get spooked? Yeah. Do I just? I mean, I guess you can. No really format. Okay, I thought you were leading up to something. Doorways to Horror kind of speaks for itself. I mean, it's like the Citizen Kane of VHS. Don't watch it, Oni, you might have... No, mind. What's next, Zero? Secret video game. Uh, tricks, codes, and strategies. A video cassette on Nintendo-compatible games. 22 games! Bonus points! Hidden rooms. And I love how they take, like, the Contra and Metal Gear openings and just, like, sandwich them together. How many hidden rooms are there in Contra? Look at the <laughs> squished FBI warning on the tape. <laughs> God, there's a lot of games on here. Yeah, and I'm secretly hoping I land on that, because I'm pretty bad at video games. Okay. Oh, we... I haven't finished a video game since 1997. What do you want to wear, Steve? Oh. Right. What's next? Next we have... Battle Arena Toshinde. Oh my god. Uncut version English language dialogue. You remember Battle Arena Toshinde? I have a long box copy of it. Remember how you happy can... people were when, when it was on the PlayStation Classic? I was about to mention What's the that? PlayStation and, Classic? <laughs> and I was it, happy it was on there. I just thought they could have put a better fighting game. And how they didn't have it like at a proper fighting game frame. Yeah, because they put the PAL version on it. Yeah. yeah. Which is fine. Which is, which is fine for the European folk, but we run at 60 hertz. I'm pretty sure Europe wasn't happy either. I'm a little nervous about uh, AG on the top of the box. He doesn't seem like he's really into what's yes. about to happen. He... Maybe he smelled something. I don't know. This one. Oh, Abel from US Manga. Of course. Manga! How many more of these you got? Uh, we're gonna be here a while. <sighs> okay. <So> what's next? <laughs> uh, a VHS recorded. I, you caught it on VHS. Game Shark Pro. How to harp like a pro. 
Nintendo 64 version. That's supposed to be hacked, like, bro. I was kind of oh, very hey. Happened. This is official. I might have had that, actually. You might have had- hold on. What do you mean? We used to have something like that. I th if it has Duke Nukem 64 on it, we had that. This- I know that these came with Game Sharks, certain Game Sharks, for a while. I don't have the one that came with any of mine, but I know that they did. They started putting them on CDs, because my Game Boy and Game Boy Advance Game Sharks, there are interactive CDs that probably don't work anymore. But it's, so it's a CD interactive? Interactive CD. So it's an ICD, not a CD. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's very good. There is an ICD format, too. In our last video... How to score more points on Nintendo games. Wizards and Warriors, Mega Man 2, Platoon, Top Gun, and Metal Gear. Oh boy, golly gee whiz! Improve your scores, gain free lives, see secret screens, actual game footage. <gasps> How did they do that? From Kodak Video Programs. What? Remember the Kodak? Oh, system? just looking at the back, the screenshots look like... Like, worse than any capture card I've ever owned. Like, I, I love the Kodak Master System. Kodak Master System? Generic Kodak branding. And the sticker isn't even a full size. It's just like a, a regular ass square sticker. They probably just cheat down on that. Yeah. Well, all the Kodak money probably went to getting the narrator. You know, I'm sure they got someone very experienced to do that. Well, SCR, I have a surprise for you. Oh my god. You somehow came prepared for this. Pick one. Uh, what? This wasn't part of the script. Pick one. I, I can't reach up there. Pick, pick one. This is still asking a bit much of me. Oh! <laughs> what did you get? I got eight picks. Oh no! Comes with a free t-shirt. I remember that. Do I really need a t-shirt? I mean... This shirt is too good, right? Now. What's Apex? Apex is... It, it looks like that one shitty thing that Beast Wars did when they left the planet. Tried going back to Cybertron. What, what was that called? Beast Machines? Is that what it's called? Beast Machines. Yeah. yeah, that wasn't so good. So this is probably going to be on par with that. Okay. Well, it doesn't end there. Unreal, come on down. Oh, I'm gonna fuck. trade spaces with you. What? Why are we? Why? It's, what are we? A bunch of hacks? Get your frauds? hand in there. Get your hand in there. I'll get one. Okay. Uh, that, this one. Oh shit! Get. Got it. Ninja Turtles, the next mutation! I know what this is! I know, that's on Netflix now, they just added it. Oh, what's Netflix? God damn it. Well, Netflix is that's a wonderful in. service <laughs> where you can oh, watch God. movies anytime you want for a low, low fee. Not sponsored, hashtag not sponsored. Do you want to pick another one? Uh, what, what am I? Do you want, do you want to pick another one? I, I, I guess I'll pick another one. Is there only one more? There's two more. Oh, jeez. Eggie! The hunt is on to crack the case. Oh, I guess that is the last one. I thought I did do one. Oh, no, that's a book. That's, well, my, that's well, what, my con book. Oh. Well, what's a con? It's, what, it, what is that? What's a book? It's, it's, Eggy. Or, it, it, it says Eggy. Yeah. Oh, I should have sticker. said that this, this, my segment special. Dollar Store Disasters. Oh, your Dollar Store bullshit did oh come back. Oh my god! SCR, we got a load of shit here. Mm, so, yeah, we do. We have to decide what we're gonna watch. Let's spin the wheel. We, we don't, we, we don't have, we don't one. have one. Someone's supposed to bring the wheel. I, I, you literally sprung this on me. I have no idea what you're talking about. 
Well, in that case, let's spin the wheel. Do you have a wheel? I'll have to get it off in my car. Okay. Or we could just use like a random number generator. We could flip a coin, but we know how well that goes for you. How do you That's flip a coin right 20 ways? Um, okay, so yeah, let's use. Yeah, let's let's do that. We've got a lot to choose from. How about this? We'll stack them up like this, count them, and then use a random number generator. Well, this one isn't, isn't one of them, but. We'll throw that in. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay. So, how many are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sixteen. So we'll generate a number one through sixteen. Are we going from top to bottom in terms of that? Top to bottom, yeah. Well, shouldn't it be bottom from top because we went in an order? Yeah. It'll make more sense. Okay, fine. We'll go bottom to top. Oh. Jeez. Here's how it works. I got the random number generator on my phone. Okay, how many are we doing? Three? Let's, let's do four. four. That way everybody has to bear some burden for this disaster. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, ready? So, so before you do it, just say how many times you're going to hit generate. How many times do we get? Try not to go over 50. Okay, I'm going to give it a go. Alright, and whatever one you end on, that'll be the one that you end on. Ready? Okay. Nothing's happening. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Where Number at? seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Captain Power! Captain Power! Yeah! I'm gonna read the back of the box. Let me switch to slate paces so we have. Switch to slaces? Fucking shut up! That's staying in. I'm not even drunk yet. Um, raid on Volcania, skill level 3. Lord Dread launches an all out attack against human survival camps. Sa Sauron? 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 S O A R O N. Sauron? Sor Sauron Sky Century and his clones are leading the attack, backed up by hundreds of interlocker, trademark, <laughs> thrones, and Phantom Striker, trademark, jets. How much of this is trademark? Uh, half the box. Oh, is trademark. Uh, Captain Power, trademark. Major Hawk Masterson, trademark. And you, not trademarked. Are we going to be able to watch any of this? Seem hopelessly outnumbered. Excuse me. So is he Captain Power? I think we're Captain Power. Never mind. He's Man, six Tron suit. <laughs> we are troopers. Strategy marked. Cut the pre programmed Bio Dread invasion off at the source. Volcania. Short circuit the battle computer. And then there's ads for the other two episodes before this. <laughs> oh, let's see, that's skill level one says future force training. And then the next one is for experienced pilots. So this is what must be the expert level mission. So we're starting on hard mode, essentially. Well, we always play our games on hard mode. Look at that animation! <laughs> they just took the background and moved it. <laughs> well, that was a quite the yeah. So, it's your turn to pick the video. That's right, Scott. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the generate button. I'm gonna do it right about. Number two. It's Mega, it's Man. Mega Man! Oh, Mega Man! Yeah! Alright. Fuck yeah! Mega Man! Get the cookie jar! <laughs> Fucking love Mega Man! The stuff that's usually on the bottom is on the top. What the fuck? Yeah. I've actually oh, never yeah. seen Hold that. Hold that up to the camera for a second. Dude, what the fuck? Oh god, it's by ADV kids. Oh boy. Oh, that was dumped by ADV? Oh god. Are they dead? They're they're dead. They dumped the me the first season of the Mega Man, or they released the first season of the Mega Man uh, series, and then they went bankrupt. 
Oh, this is throwing me off. So, so what you're saying is we have to watch this now. Yes. Read what's in the back. Dr. Wily has again escaped from the game world. Japan is in grave danger. Mega Man must prevent the fiendish Dr. Wily from destroying Japan as we know it. But how? A little knowledge of Japanese culture and geography. Mega Man and his pals will try to stay one step ahead of the mad scientist. But will they be able to defeat Dr. Wily in time to save Children's Day? What? What's Children's Day? I think it's like a Japanese holiday. Couldn't you just like jump and shoot and forget the culture part? I don't know. We gotta... uh, not since Mega Man 6. That's my useless Mega Man knowledge coming into effect. In Mega Man 6 was the world tournament, and all the cultures came together. Especially the ah, racist who Indian. fucking cares? He's acting like I talked about Star Trek or something. Hey, Eddie! Come out! Oh, so you could just do that! <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Do you need something, my friend? Oh, God! Well, they need to be Dr. Wily in time to save Children's Day, or to avert the worst typhoon in history, or to keep Mount Fuji from erupting again. Jesus, this is a very bad day for Japan. Don't miss this trio of terrific adventures. This volume includes these action-packed episodes, Appearance in Japan, Wish Upon a Star, and Future Beware. Mega Man, we're counting on you. But Wish Upon a Star is called Mega Man Upon a Star. So we only need to watch the second episode? I, I guess. Well, let's go watch it! Let's play some Mega Man! Let's watch Mega Man figure out how a Japanese subway works. How fast is Rush Jet? D where's the- doesn't- isn't there energy for yeah, Rush Jet? Yeah, yes. Also, that game would be freezing death. Not that hard. Well, also the wind would just would have knocked him off several times. Well, internet personality, blonde guy gamer, that was a man who was mega. See that? Now, what else are we going to watch tonight? I don't know. Number four. One, two, three. Oh, no. What? Oh, I got the WrestleMania video game. Oh, no! <laughs> no, you didn't. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, Darkstalkers. Dark Stalkers. <laughs> oh, oh well. How do I keep changing positions between each camera cut? So anyway, 13 hair-raising episodes. Lock your doors. Close your windows. The Dark Stalkers are coming. Hide your stock. Dark Stalkers hide your wives. No joke. I can't even pretend to laugh when Dark Stalkers, the animated series, is involved. Cock of the world, the fiery demon Pyron assembles an army of supernatural beings with magical powers, the Darkstalkers. Two of the biggest and violent leads are the Pyron's Iron. Mentri Maximoff, Lord of the Vampires, Morbin uh, Einstein, powerful succubus. Oh, where am I? What is wrong with your face? <laughs> Oh my Bye. god! But the good guys are fighting back. Around the cat around the catwoman Felicia rallies a band of freedom loving dark soccers. The Merman Riku, the Werewolf Jonathan, and the Talbane, Golem Victor, the Golem Victor von Gedenheim. I don't really know how to start using it that well. Uh, the Sasquatch Bigfoot and his nephew Hairball. Press the rebels. Lord Dimitri and Morgan send the lunatic pharaoh and, and Nicarus, the zombie, the zombie guitarist Lord Raptor, and the cursed samurai Ishimon. Things get complicated when the demon hunters Donovan Bane and the characters are there. <laughs> Is this the entire roster? They, they crammed the entire roster. Ah, oh, jeez. And. And Heisenko decide that all dog stalkers, both good and bad, must die. I so apologize in advance for all the names of butchered. Like I said, I don't know dog stalkers that well. I do, but I'm not reading back of the box. Fair enough. Yet the fate of the world depends on a human, teenager Harry Grimmore. If Harry can master the, his secret le magical legacy, then that's I guess, and the intricacies of alien computer technologies. 
world might have a chance. I done. I don't think aliens were involved with dog suckers. They? Let's go watch it! And what do I get out of it? Power beyond your wildest dreams! Everlasting! Is that an animation mistake? Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, Scott, you're the only one that could save the night. Is this night worth saving at this point? J j just hit the generator button, dude. Come on. Okay, I'm I'm really hoping for how to score more points on Nintendo games, because I I'm really bad at video games and I need all the help I can get. Number 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh! Battle Arena Toshinden. Oh! Uncut! I hate you. It's okay, I hate me too. The last Toshin tournament ended one year ago. Nobody won. The f wow! more oh, was And bad. they even made sure to. Like, highlight it in bullet, nobody won. All up to my camera? Oh, yeah, you're right. For one year, Master Swordman Eiji Shinjo has been haunted by the memory of his battle with the renegade champion Gaia. From Captain Planet? No, probably Illusion of Gaia. Oh. Only. A battle that was cut sh short by the forces of the malevolent syndicate known as the Organization. Denied victory, Eiji left the tournament, followed by his opponent's mocking laughter. Worse still, Eiji walked away no closer to finding his long-lost brother, Sho. I'm so sorry to have kept you waiting. One of the things I take pleasure in is seeing little children smile. Oh, oh, oh. I want to be careful with this. Yeah. Please, come but now, a mysterious warrior is hunting down the champions of the previous tournament and using their own moves against them. And it looks like that person may be Sho. I, I, I wonder if it is Sho. Oh, Sho. This guy might be all Sho and no go. Who is this powerful new foe and who will be his next target? Eiji and Kai, his closest friend and greatest rival, struggle to unravel the mystery before they too join the ranks of the defeated. The answer lies at the heart of the organization and its plans for world domination. At last, the ultimate battle between the greatest fighters in the world will be decided. But if Eiji loses, his friend Ellis may die. Where did Ellis come into this? Who the fuck is Ellis? A character? We don't One know. Players. That that's the first mention of that character. Oh my god. Let the tournament begin. If it's as good as the last one, we'll find out that everyone's a bunch of hack frauds. So, so did you notice that that was the first mention of there being a tournament in this video? No, there was the last one. Not not the last one, that's old news, the new one. Let's go watch Wait, it! Is there going to be a tournament in this video, yes or no? It's a fighting game. I'm gonna say no. I think what's gonna happen is the start of the tournament will happen, and then the, it ends. Color Stereo, 60 minutes. We're not watching all of it. Oh, thank god. Well, let's... Let's go. Hopefully we don't have to censor any boobs. Oh, we got a censor. Uh, God damn it. Street Fighter did it, so why not? Yeah, because this, this goddamn director is known for doing shit like this. I think maybe we should just stick to ripping off Game Chasers next year, or...? I think we should just stick to not watching terrible videos. Okay, that, well, to me, seems like a smarter idea. That's just going to be a bit of a problem, because we have enough terrible videos for the next five years. And we've also much. been watching Game Chasers again, so that might also... So, welcome to... Best of the Worst. The... No, no we, we can't, can't trademark, trademark. 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 It's a parody! It's parody clause. We can, we can claim parody clause. For the letter media, don't sue us. Imitation is not parody. Don't worry, it's... 
We're just hack frauds. Best of the worst hack frauds. And you know who else made uh, a bunch of hack frauds? The people who made Captain Power. So, Lonnie, why don't you explain to us what Captain Power Raid on Volcania is? You don't, don't have to read the box this time. Just okay, say what well, happened. Well, it's a game where you need a skill level of three, so that already uh, sets a high bar for entry. Um, and you have, it's actually for use with Captain Power TV interactive accessories, which I assume is like a weird light gun thing. It's so we didn't have the right experience then. It's a light gun which has like a score readout on the side of it, I believe. Yeah, and there's two others here, so we basically skip to the third level. <laughs> so using those game genie strategies. <laughs> so so going into this personally, I wasn't expecting and just it to be like one of those FMV-ish games. Like, it started as an FMV. You had this dude just get into his electric chamber, and then... Were we the only ones who knew what was going on before this uh, started? I think like, so. Did you guys know what Captain Power was? I had never heard no. of Captain Power. I had yeah. They think we're Dread Forces. Gotta prove otherwise. Oh, wait, are, those, are we supposed to, like, press a button or something? It looks like one of those FMV games. This, this may as well be just an FMV game. Yeah. I think it is, uh, but this is a VHS, so it must be impossible to lose. Yeah. I love how this is, like, advanced, but, like, you can't lose. See, I grew up in a time when, like, VCR interactive games were a common thing. Like, I had a racing one where you, like, strapped a track to the front of your TV and guided a car through this VHS road course. See, I never had any of those. I guess because it's like, well, you know, actual video games instead of <laughs> instead of what these sort of yeah, you know, yeah. try just, to do. Just an interesting bit of trivia on Captain Power. The guy who programmed it, like the actual game, uh, later went on to make a uh, super glove ball for <laughs> <laughs> for the Power Glove. Well, it is a Mattel. It is Mattel. So yeah, yeah right there. He also was working on a couple other games, but as we all know, the Power Glove was so popular they couldn't keep up with making games. We got featured in The Wizard, and then it was all just downhill. It was too ahead of its time. <laughs> but how? You need to ask. Aim at the computer links. Let's cut off as much as you can. loaded with missiles? Why wouldn't it be? Oh no. Aerobics. Oh no, it's in the Gunplug collection. Buy the full set now. So because it is one of the um one of these type of TV game things, um there wasn't too much to it, because we were just watching what would normally play out if you were interacting, but since we don't have the TV interactive accessories for Captain Power, we just kind of but, watched But we could still experience all the seizures. That were happening, and the dialogue getting cut off. You take this with pilot one. It shouldn't be an easy. Si it's a trap. I feel what? like this should, that, that got cut off. Yeah, it's always cut off. Can we talk about the like the animation in this one? Sometimes they just literally put the ships on there and move the background to make it look like it was animated. It's to get, I feel like that was common during a lot of you know games like it was, this. It was to give you time to like you know do the zap. It's Macro definitely not a, a cheap cheapening tactic. It's, like they weren't a, saving money. It's a Macromedia flash motion tween. Kind of. That's giving it too much credit. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some motion tweens that look great. This is like low effort. Like look, all the money went to the power armor for the pilots, which never actually got used. Yeah, none of the money went to that Star Trek board. Therefore, I am terminating these outposts without further delay. Oh god, Star Trek. It's still <laughs> image! Is she talking? We're like bored over here. What is this, Skype? <laughs> the, the static is how you know it's talking. <laughs> what, the guy we couldn't understand? Captain, this is Huck. I'm only 300 kilometers away. You can you can you I said large fry. What are you saying? That whole sequence where it's like, you know, where it was actually live action. Yeah, I mean. I was more excited to see more of that, but then when it stopped and I realized yeah, it was, I was a game, I was just like, okay. Yeah, I was expecting to see more of that. And then 
because it started out of that, and then it, it switched over to that. It was a little bit jarring. Is <laughs> it went from a live action thing to animation to back to a live action thing? For like one second. For, like the live action segments didn't need to be there. They were only like two minutes long. The ending was incredible. It reminded me of that Tony Hawk game you did, where it just kind mm -hmm. of. He talks to you, and then it just hard cuts to credits. It ends. It just ends. Well, Pilot One, you've completed another successful mission, and this was the most difficult of all. You've really earned your wings. Soldier, now do it again. Look, we ran out of money, we couldn't animate the credits properly. Is that really... That's it? That's oh. it? Yeah. That's the whole thing? <laughs> that wasn't the first time, that wasn't the only time it happened during this watch fest. Even, well, even the credits wanted to get out of the video early. Like, that lasted maybe a few seconds. I can see where Dr. Sun got the inspiration for his costume, though. So, unfortunately, well, I, either way you look at it, this was only... 15 minutes and yeah there are this was the shortest video this was the shortest video we only were missing out on skill level one and two if we somehow had that and managed to land on them which well, you, you know, know what that happened. we made it to the end of the video so we didn't need the training at all we didn't need the training but we've got no kind of now can the add orcs or anything we can now add to our back library that we've beaten captain power Precise uh, volume three. It's not even a thing you had a bad lottery. <laughs> <laughs> so all you have to do is play it. Why is there a chess section? Is there not? Let me I don't check. Know. I don't. I'm gonna go check is. right now. I know there's like maybe a DVD thing. Like, like you can play like Dragon Slayer. On you're gonna look for that. and You're gonna get like Captain Power for MS DOS. <laughs> oh jeez. Does that ex actually exist? I don't know. I don't know. It, it would depend on if they would actually. Or it's just gonna return a question mark. Stay in the center. Don't fly near the sides. Energy readings are off the- Well, you're flying near the sides! You just said not to! Hang on. Because it's all film in one, you know, thing, with nothing, with nothing changing, all it is is determined, if, uh, like, whether or not you do well or not, is, is how many points do you actually score or, or hit. Like, yeah, just... we were trying to keep track of our score as we went through, but... <laughs> what, just... what were the points that, between each inter uh, intermission, skill points? What were they called? Uh, PowerPoints. PowerPoints. Check, yeah, we had to check it every time. Yeah, we had to keep checking with Microsoft for PowerPoints. What's your PowerPoint level? Um, six slides. Can I just say, the final boss of this, which is a computer, is the weirdest looking computer I've ever seen. It's a box with flames and tentacles. Lock on and fire. That's a computer? That's Mother Brain! It's fire! It's, 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 what? That's a punch bowl. It's a, it's a master in bowl. <laughs> I've heard of liquid cooling, but not fire cooling. I, I think Box of Flames is giving it a little too much. It looks like a it looked like a giant gem or an emerald in that oh, it, case. Also the jets, they're for they're they're blaze, like for their for their jet fire, was like going a frame a second. It, like it would change every second. It was Whew. The animation budget on this thing is crazy. Amazing amounts of energy at the other end of the northwest corridor. Lock onto it. Let's go. Wait, was that an animation mistake? Why are the jet boosters on the thing? Yeah, we're going us. So, let me ask you guys a question. Would you want to play the first two of these? I want to kind of see it just to see how the live action stuff would work. We need to make the super cut of the live action parts for Captain Power. There, w there was one other thing about the Mother Brain AI I wanted to bring up, about how it talked about the Major making fun of his, like, house or something. <laughs> no, just the- The just, architect. Yeah. Just the miles and miles of tunnels up in there you're flying through. I am the world's greatest architect! You cannot criticize the way I build my weird warping hallways! It didn't sound that mad about it. What a mess. Whoever built these tunnels, are you criticizing my home, Major? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that even mean? Because of what was going on, I thought it was Central Command for the good guys 
talking shit yeah. to the major. That's what I and thought. I thought that yeah. for some reason we went we the the guys we were working with were now the bad guys, but now it's that that wasn't it. See, it was a little hard to follow through all the uh, seizure warnings well, every time they flew at the screen. Maybe they just had one guy voicing everything like Dark Soccer's did. Oh, you mean like <laughs> Scott McNeil throughout this entire view session? <laughs> let's let's not talk about Dark Soccer's right now. <laughs> but you're a little early on that. I there's. I don't think we have anything else on Captain Power. Let, let's just move on. It's it's just it's just a. It's an artifact of the times where it's like they they were experimenting with VHS technology. It's like hey, we can do something like that. Why not do it? Uh oh, what, what are you looking at? What? Yeah, it's a VHS already. Oh, Washington. 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 <laughs> this is my favorite episode of Afterburner, the animated series. So, <laughs> moving on. Moving on to Mega Man Upon a Star. Now, I'm not sure which of you should explain what goes on in this video. You're gonna let the Mega Man guy do it? Because I could. That would be too normal. I mean, as you guys know, I don't know anything about Mega Man. Yeah, I'll just explain it. So, me <laughs> so Mega Man Upon a Star um, is a series. Uh, it's a series of OVAs that got released originally in Japan. Um, and there's three episodes, we only watched the first one, which is Appearance in Japan. Uh, so, Mega Man 5, the worst game in the series, <laughs> is prominent in this OVA. You can hear This it. almost makes it good. Um, you can hear the Mega Man bias and from this cuts, fuck we got We got a kid who, um, just playing Mega Man 5, and he didn't do his homework, so his mother comes in and be like, go do your homework, and then... He leaves the game on overnight because he's like, one more game. And he gets to Wily and pauses the game, and Wily's like, I can just escape. So he just leaves the video game. They don't explain how he can. Um, I can escape out of this game world. What a good idea. <laughs> no, wait. Come on, Mega Man. <laughs> Is it really that easy? Yeah. yeah. Could have done that literally any time. There's more than one game when this happens where it's like you just pause for a long time. Is that and just a thing any video game character can do? See, that opens it up. This opens it up. Hey, you're Mega Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't freak out or anything. It's like, hey, you're Mega Man. Just another Tuesday. So, I don't know what well, else it could be. See, it's, it's just a major bug in the program that they I mean, forgot we... to test for. <laughs> I, mean, we learned... I mean, we learned from Captain N that you can go into the TV, but then out of the TV, but you can bring the video game characters with you? Well, I mean, Mega Man is a Captain N. I'll be the chain smoker. Yeah. The green chain smoker version? Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, I'll use Mega Power. Your Highness, there's a mega emergency call coming in. I need to interrupt you. I'm not finding VHS as a listable system for backlog. <laughs> but they got Twitch! Uh, so, speaking of voices, how would you rate like, the voice acting and sound of everything? I mean, it's mixed. Scott McNeil does not give his greatest performance here as <laughs> beat. <laughs> We'll take care of the rest of the robots, Mega Man! You go find Dr. Wily and bring him back! Oh god, the voice gets worse That's before he talks. It's worse than any. Scott uh, McNeil voiced uh, Beat the, the Bird, the bird that, and Dr. Wily. I couldn't tell between that and Eddie. With By the way, Dr. Wily's a ninja! I don't give up that easily, because <laughs> I'm a ninja! Huh? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Ninjas are from Japan! Did you know <laughs> that has cultural significance? <laughs> he just randomly becomes a ninja halfway through. Look, ninjas are from Japan. And we're learning about Japan. The right? funny thing is, half the video, Mega Man knows stuff about Japan, and the other half he doesn't. Or at least of the real world. 
I don't. This is from a game. This is the first time Mega Man has been in Japan. I have to guide him to Tokyo, or else he will get lost. In Japan, traffic moves left to right, and so most of the driver's seats are on the right side. It's the opposite from the U.S. Wait, how does he know about this Japan trivia? He just told me in the United States. Yeah. Maybe it was the United Yo, States. Yo, it's Yakuza. It's going down Camaro Show. <laughs> I don't think I was ready to have an education with Mega Man. I, I don't think that's what I was looking for. It's not what I was. I mean, it was it was clearly targeted for like young kids who want to be like, wow, this is what they this is. Japan. It's clearly cool. it's trying out? to have them learn about Japan. Because that kid skipped the entirety of school to go save Mega Man like, and nearly I think it's died. Like, I think it's like Capcom knew that Mega Man. I think they it's like ADV better. licenses in 2005, but I'm pretty sure this came out earlier. Like, it would be one thing if they could in incorporate the Japan education part of that in any clever way, but it's just people awkwardly spouting various things about Japanese culture. Yeah, Japanese the whole yeah. there was the entire segment where. Both Mega Man and the kid that has the same Mega Man voice actor, by the way, that's what it sounds like. Um, just riding Rush across all of Japan, and there were just a couple of spots where, again, they just awkwardly yeah, they, added they just Mount Fuji. Yeah. It seems in Japan, soccer and baseball are the popular sports. <laughs> that wasn't sure it at all. <laughs> They just went on a giant tour of the country. Just this was this was an advertisement for Japan to get people to come visit Japan. I don't think you need an advertisement for that. Well, this come to Japan and Mega Man will knock you off your fucking skis. <laughs> <laughs> the beauty of Japan changes according to the Four Seasons Mega Man. Did you know? Did you know? Wow! They're putting you, these guys in danger. You dicks! What the hell is wrong with him? Just don't be little there, Why are you going back? You just went up, now you're going back! You gotta give a, a full tour of Japan. Guys, there are tons of lakes, rivers, and Knock over a water ski. I was just, just about to bring that up. <laughs> he almost takes a guy's head off in a car. He just decides to swoop way down. And... Well, as also, also, the parents completely unfazed by video game characters appearing. Yeah, they're like totally like, like, well, it's Japan. This happens all the time. Yeah. They're, no, they're like weird stuff happens. No, they were they were thrown off for like a second before they just straight faced and say, oh, okay. By the way, no, you 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 can't go with Mega Man. You gotta go to school. You can't save the world. And I you can't. Have homework. What is the hero from inside your game doing here in the real world? Very I love how the I love how the parents are just like. This happens a lot. It's Japan, that's why. Yeah, exactly. We're preparing the cultures of Japan and how this is a... We had a Belmont come out last time during Halloween. That wasn't a good time. Remember, you have school to go to, don't you, Yuda? It's more important than school. Yuta, stop talking nonsense. There's a video game character! And this is more important than this thing that happens all the time. Keep in mind that dad yeah, works overtime. Yeah, it, yeah. We learned that Japanese students have, have to take the school work seriously, even. And they have to do that. after school school, which is bullshit. And they also eat lunch well, together after school at a 7 Eleven. At a 7 Eleven? Yeah, they, all, they just like ditch Mega Man to go to 7 Eleven. <laughs> this, this first episode. Meanwhile, Mega Man's dying. He's like, <laughs> I need an E tank. So, and then, and then so like, they weren't available to set away. <laughs> the best part of the world tour, aside from murdering the skiers, <laughs> <laughs> I was, I, aside from the skiers, I was hoping, well, kind of, that they ruin the wakeboarders, but they just fly higher above them and then they go backwards, yeah, so, so we don't did, see the carnage. So, A, why didn't they do that before? B, why does Rush have the thousand yard stare for the entire sequence? <laughs> Oh my Not god. Not to mention that is probably the most baffling voice you'll ever hear. He sounds like a background character in Happy Days. Actually in my room in Japan. What a small room you have. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Rush talks? Oh no. 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 Rush is here too. I can't. Most of the time when we hear Rush, you think our hero. You know, he's like, he's like, like Scooby-Doo. Scooby like a Scooby-Doo voice. You know? But here he's like incomprehensible and the voice does not fit him at all. 
I know, it's it's weird. Do you want to know who doesn't fit either? The, the voice of Proto Man, when he shows up, when they had uh, to get him out of the game system. I think I said we were watching it, my abridged voice of Proto Man was better than the one they used. <laughs> and that was just me going like this. Why are so intense? Even water won't put it out. We have to blow it out with this. Oh, that's, his, that's a bad voice. His voice is worse than the one I gave him in the Abridged series. <laughs> so apparently, like, later on, they figure out that they can just actually just take out characters and put characters back in just by the will of the NES top loader. I, I love near the end when the and rocket gets sucked into the, uh, uh, into the, uh, TV. And while he's just running TV. up the fucking TV. No, it's power, it's gotta be plugged into Rush even though there's no cables. Going well, into well, it. We, well, don't, we don't know that. Rush has already run out of Rush Jet was energy the TV. a long time ago. It wasn't plugged in. But Rush got back exhausted, and then he had to go back, so... Mega Man, don't give up! Huh? <laughs> Rush! How did you what? get back there so quick? What? what? Yeah, abandon... Abandon Mega Man in the time. Mega Man, you Did the little girl do that? Or did that makes no sense, because Rush is always on an energy bar, so I don't know how he lasted that. And that energy bar lasts like... How did he seconds. last going from North Japan down and then back up again. They went both ways before. They, they went, went, they just did it in the span of 15 seconds. No, that was like a whole minute. That would have like melted the skin off of the kid from all the wind resistance. Is there anything more we can say about uh, Wish Upon a Star? I actually um, do. Um, we can say that it's a prequel to Nier Altawata, but go by <laughs> assembling it to a giant samurai. In an amusement park, no less. <laughs> Alright, everyone! It's time to travel together! Are they going to do some Nero Automata bullshit? Oh god. <laughs> they, they're becoming oh. his gods right now. Gathered together! What the fuck, did this become Akira? Wait! Uh... Wait, what?! <laughs> That's a giant Imano Man thing! What the fuck? Yeah, well, well, can we mention that? Like, Wiley decides, I'm gonna take over an amusement park of all places in Japan. I just... To take over. Wait a minute. But then, but then Mount Fuji. <laughs> then he went to Mount Fuji. So when... He took a step up! <laughs> so, when, so when Mega Man got the uh, Mega Man 8 power where he kicked soccer ball? Is, was that a power? Yeah. Power? No, he used charge. Uh, but he kicked attack. the ball, so... Yeah, the charge, the charge attacks a kick. So, but so it's, so it's Mega Man Soccer, and he used it. What is this? It's Charge Man's weapon in Mega Man 5. He does a sliding kick attack. What are you, some fucking nerd? <laughs> now, I do have a good thing to say about this, because I'll just say right now, like, probably the best animation of the night. Oh yeah, it's solid. Yeah, well, we, but it's an OVA, so yeah, they, all the budget went into three oh, episodes. That's an OVA too. Yeah, this fucking thing. It was not that there yet. But yeah, this actually did look nice. It was actually, you know, it looked like the proper Mega Man. It it, me, it got the art style right. The dub wasn't right for the most part. Yeah. I mean, I guess it sounds better than, better than Mega Man. I mean, the kids. Why they sound okay? Why do they sound like you would think? Yeah, I mean, the I little kids sound like the same age as their parents, but other than that... <laughs> then again, the little kid also just sounded like Mega Man. Oh, where am I? This is my room. This is your room? That's right. Of course, not inside the game, but... I just find this whole concept of it being like, you know, an educational, like, this is what Japan is about. Is it because that Mega Man is... Was it more successful over here than it was in Japan? Uh, I mean, that's possible because it's, like, May the reason they kept making sequels is because it was selling so well in North America. Like, Mega Man was not a hit when it first came out. When they finally revamped Mega Man so that it wasn't some dude carrying a pistol. Yeah. Or a piece of art that was done, like, you know, the night before it was supposed to go to press. <laughs> that's actually what happened. So I feel like this was kind of like made in a response to be like, hey, this is what Meg this is where Mega Man's from, from our country, you know, yeah. about their, our culture. But it came out Japanese first. That, that, it didn't get dubbed until like that, that's yeah, that's weird if it's not the intention. It didn't first. get dubbed until like the two thousands. That's Japan. Japan's got to know about Japan too. Yeah, I guess if it was been targeted towards like a very young audience of like just yeah. like, like just the ba uh, the basics of your own country, then sure. it could have been it could have been Capcom might have gotten a lot of complaints because people like kids were. 
uh, were like too busy playing games and learning about stuff. That could be why Mega Man Six was like a world tour of like things because that was it was a battle royale of, of robots from different parts of the world. It's incredibly racist now if you look at it, but it and, was. Well, I mean, I mean, but it is what it is. And Capcom learned their lesson. Uh, and now they just give Paul and Sanderson all of their movie rights. Mm. Yeah, looking forward to not seeing the Monster Hunter movie. Oh. Or the Mega Man movie that's happening. Fuck. There's, there's a Mega, a Mega Man movie? movie? It's in pre-production. Oh. Well, we'll see if it's better. <laughs> if it comes to light, sure. Um, oh, well, my big takeaway is I'm ready to move to Japan. I know everything I need to know, thanks to our hero man. Many mysterious robots have just appeared from the mouth of Mount Fuji Volcano! Wow, he just happened to be there just in time to see this. Well, how do you have a script for this? This just happened! <laughs> Well, Unreal. That so, means... Unreal, do you want to tell us about Darkstalkers? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> So Darkstalkers! Yeah, get a look at that, that fucking thing. We don't need to look at this. This shows up like 50 times between the menus, the cover art, and the actual episode and intro. I, I, I couldn't believe when I saw the case of this that this was the actual art they went with in the thing. Because the art style changed so fucking much in this thing. The that set, it yeah, just the around. The sad thing is Morgan looks better on the cover. This, <laughs> this <laughs> was what this shit showed up. It was the funniest shit. <laughs> I literally <laughs> just mentioned that we saw it 20 times. Yeah. Grab <laughs> 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 a floating head. Why? <laughs> Why? Get out of the sky. So Darkstalkers, uh, if... Anyone's familiar with these stupid pieces of shit animators? Uh, they I'm pretty sure they've also done the Street Fighter one. Uh, did they do the- Well, of course they did. Scott McNeil voiced eight characters in this. Bow. Thank you, Australia! Is that Scott McNeil? Oh, He's in everything. What Damn it, that? Scott McNeil! He's in everything. What do you expect? I hate this voice for Lord Raptor. Is it true? Am I recu- Scott McNeil again! <laughs> That's four times! Can we get a Scott McNeil counter to this? We might. Uh, Thank you, Scott McNeil voices eight characters in this. What? what? <laughs> Did they do the other Mega Man one? Not, we go to Japan Mega Man. Like the Plus, Super Fighting Robot. Oh, that was- no, that was uh, Ruby Spears. Okay. I swear I saw Ruby Spears in the credits to one of these. Was it that? Was it this? Was it I don't Spears? know. I think I saw it on this one, but we're not going to get to that. Well, what happens in Dark Souls? So, this is actually a box set. Is this the whole series? That's the entire series. Only 13 We only episodes. watched the first episode. So we only yeah. watched the first episode, and it pretty much sets up the whole conflict, where um, Blaze from Mortal Kombat <laughs> decides to go ahead and summon the Darkstalkers, starting with uh, Mr. Vampire Face. Dimitri Maximoff. Thank you. Yeah, he becomes the general. Yeah, he's one of the more recognizable characters from Darkstalkers, I guess. And then well, besides a bunch of the other ones, yes, including Morgan shape-shifting face extraordinaire. Shut up, you smirking soul sucker! I will deal with him. I cannot Morgan look at Morgan's soul face. Sucker. Did they have different people draw each of her eyes? The, the whole episode is pretty much just gathering the crew, some of them not going with them, like Spooky Werewolf from Castlevania. John Delvane. Or Saberwolf. Saberwolf, or that wolf character from Sega Densetsu 3. Gosh. Was his name Kevin? Yes. Run, Cornell, run! What kind of weak ass track did he miss this? <laughs> he's, he's like, he's like gently getting away. Damn it, I can't go with the game. Where are you?
one thing we learn from the fact that Dimitri gets sucked up during the daytime and he's not melting, but this tractor beam has multiple different rules, like it won't go in a cave, but it'll get stuck in the Titanic just because it went into a hole that Aquaman just swam through to escape. It won't suck up the water underwater, but it will suck up snow. Oh man, snowball fight! Yes, yeah, so that'll ward it off. They're messing! What? What? One splattered <laughs> on it! It worked! What? It worked? Why did it work? What? It's a laser beam! The snow it worked! Oh. But the sand and water didn't! Yeah. This, maybe, this maybe they had an aquarium. Oh, there's no rules! Maybe there's was, no rules! Maybe they had an aquarium for the fish guy. Oh my god! So you see. Stop doing close ups of Morgan! That snow took a long time to melt. You don't yeah, and, the, the, and it can go through a hangar wall, <laughs> a ceiling, but not. So, uh, so basically, okay. when they got to when they got to the, 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 the yeti that sounds like this kind of voice, Louis Armstrong. Uh, yeah, because he couldn't think of a better voice. Dimitri and his evil master started this. Yeah. We have to turn the different trees. <laughs> 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 Wait, did we talk about how they were able to get the Frankenstein, try to get the Frankenstein guy through the, the Hollywood building? He was like, he was so heavy, yet somehow the uh, the, the, the armor went through the ceiling. Yeah. Well, there was no hole, it just went it was through. So but they couldn't go to a cave to get Wolfman. Yeah, it was so inconsistent anyway, because there, there's like, there's like the big samurai guy and the big mummy guy. The big a mummy guy. All hail the Imperial Pudding! There are lizards in my pants! What? There are lizards in my pants. There's a snake in my boot. <laughs> Is that a trouser snake? America soap, soap, it's soap. And they, they can just suck it up like no problem. Just whoop. But Frankenstein, the biggest, with. I the guess because the hanger ceiling. I don't know. The biggest consistency here was was just seeing this just right behind you, trying to tell Joy the Dark Stalkers, and. They're, they kind of just freak out or just don't notice. It's the only one who's so really stupid. The only one who really knows is Felicia, and the beam like slows down on her because she has several times where she stops and looks apparently at her. she has a job and like I, I guess there's like no real context as to how a monster is whatever. Like the Frankenstein like dude, he was pretty much shut off, so of course it would probably yeah, work as a prop. And he was like sticking up the Hollywood hangar because he's had like several hundred years to decompose. And then eventually yeah, he, he just really decides good. to go away and have one of those, those oh, runaway hitchhiker kid. kids. Oh, the, hobo, the hobo sacks. <laughs> what is he sick? How does he even breathe? I don't know. Like, spare, you did the spare, batteries. spare batteries, like I said. <laughs> How does he even know he has any? Um, it's nice to know Felicia can like hold down a day job. Still looking like that. Nobody questions anything about her. Well, we don't know where this is a costume. We don't know what the town is. Busting tables at Starbucks. And it was New York. But it was like a Broadway okay, show. You're right. New York has some cat fetish, I guess. I love how like we knew it was Cairo because we saw the Cairo Hotel at the start of the pyramid. Which had the pyramid just come out of the ground. Yeah, they built over the paved over the pyramid. <laughs> Can we just also talk about that this animation team has trouble with female faces? I think they None have, of the women look right. That they look like... I, oh. I, I pointed this out, there's one... I swear there's a point where Felicia, her eyes are just like that. It happens like, multiple times and it's not the, just... All, it's every not just shot, a close-up shot of Morgan, looks like her face is falling apart. <laughs> animation oh. fucking... Oh. Morgan is... Oh. The animation here is like on par with when Lisa gets drunk at Duff World. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. I am the Lizard Queen. <laughs> but you're out I think, right here. I, I think it's disingenuous that you're just um, pointing out the bad female faces when everything about it, everything yeah. is fucking terrible. But, but the female faces were the most noticeable because they fucking change on Zoom It. Yeah, but like, what about the kid that had a longer face mid-animation? Yeah, so... I'm Kathleen. 
God, that frame where's your face? Oh God! Ah. It keeps happening! Her eyes are just like those little... Like, fuck. It's like the animation style changes from character to character. I'm sorry you think Oh my god, him yes. now! His face just got longer! <laughs> They, they can't keep the art style consistent. There are times where like it'll seem like they're zooming in on him, but the background's not moving, so it looks like he's crawling across the table. Yeah, he was like, he was like, hey. Oh yeah, speaking we, of yeah, we got to talk about the kid, yeah, the which is apparently our main hero of the series. The, the self insert for the kids. Do not steal. <laughs> so the big deal with the uh, kid, which you find they, that Felicia finds closer to the end of the episode. Uh, it's apparently just some son of this great, great, great grandfather sorcerer thing, and he doesn't. The kid doesn't really know that he's a sorcerer until he tries to Except get sucked does. by Dimitri. Except he does. Except, they Except he does like, at the very end. Like, hey, look, like, hey, look, I can float. Oh. And then Felicia just kind of. I'm a floating body. Oh, 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 oh. So yeah, that, that entire first episode was pretty much set up, which makes sense for a series, but. The problem is that they pretty much have to like put fire on, like go through all the characters. Like, was they, that everyone? Well, it, no. it was like it was like it was like no. a good chunk of the roster. At least. There were like a few characters that show up in the next. Well, the, problem they, the problem is they pile in all the characters all at once in the first episode. But here's the thing: this is not the longest video we watched, but it felt like the longest video. Yeah. It actually did. Mm -hmm. Like all the characters this is actually crazy. longer by three minutes. That but, felt like we watched both of those back to back. Yeah. Exactly. Which we kind of did in our viewing session, but... Oh. Oh, oh my god. Thy ego was my great-great-grandfather! Oh! The whole thing about... Good. Keep the whole going. thing about that is they're doing, like, team fighting? Whereas, like, Dark Talkers is basically a free-for-all between all the monsters? Yeah, basically they had to, like, divide them up into two... These are the bad guys. These are the good guys. You know, and it's like that's how not really how, what Stock, Doc Secrets was about. How did they? How did they determine what they would consider the good guys? Were they just looking at like, oh, this character looks slightly more evil than this one, but we don't have an even team. Just put some kid in. Uh, oh yeah, I had the kid in for marketing. Are we done? Can we stop talking about yeah, Dark Secrets? No, now? we're not done. No. We're not. We're not done. I mean, the no. series is done. Both. That and the game. So, how would you rate all eight of Scott McNeil's performances in oh Dark Souls? <laughs> can you can you list off all, all the characters he voiced? Oh no. <laughs> But he played like three characters in the first episode, at least. And two in the Mega Man thing. We couldn't escape Scott McNeil. That, as was the case, he will haunt my dreams. Yeah, for most cartoons. Like. <laughs> do, you, do you guys want to know the name of the episode for Disc 3? The last episode? Well, everyone's a critic. My favorite thing about that is they're trying to get all the Darkstalkers on the ship. And then they miss like five of them and they go, eh, fuck it. <laughs> we don't need them. They, 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 they don't bother trying again because, like, Morgan is shit talking Dimitri the whole time once she's on the ship. And then Fireman just gets mad and then that happens over and over again. Also, why a spaceship? Because the, it's Axor. Because Fire Guy's like, ah, need the ore. after 4,000 years, I'm back to take over Earth. So are there aliens in the Darkstalkers franchise? I thought they well, were technically part of Oh, so he isn't self-insert? No. I just, thought, just I thought he and the kid were just to match good and evil. I'm pretty sure his helper isn't actually in the Darkstalkers. Yeah. Yeah. The flying... The, the all-seeing eye from the conduit oh, is God. not... <laughs> I, actually, I forgot about that, because he's like barely there. It's just there to make like stupid jokes. And they, hey... Knock that off, you crazy demon kids. Oh, I never thought I'd say and this. And then Morgan's face morphs some more. So I never thought I'd say this, but I think I'd rather watch stuff during Dark Stop. Oh my god. <laughs> it might have. I kind of agree with you. <laughs> and still, I am in its power. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I must go, my people need me. 
need to get a certain amount of expedition before the track team actually works. I also got sick because, well, because it was a TV show. We had to see the. Wait, where we'll you? return in a moment. Yeah, the transition effect of the king. And it always was the child. What, what was Felicia's hand that? doing in those, by the way? Yeah, why? Why did she get big Yaoi hands? Big, What's no, going on big, here? Big, big battle toads hand. We're shooting the beam or something. Did you throw the dirt sockets thing? Yeah, it's okay. Yes, I did. It could stay where it belongs. No, we we need not it. talk about it anymore. It's still got we threw it in the food like bags. Food? Victor, we need you. <laughs> and in our last video of this failure of an experiment, Ballerina You haven't read it yet. The yeah. uncut version. So, Battle Arena Toshinden is about a tournament that happened, and then a tournament that doesn't happen, even though it clearly says let the tournament begin. We, so, we should elaborate that this actually contains two episodes, and we only watched the first half. Which was basically our theme here, except for Captain Power, which had its entire run. Which I think is funny is... That was the shortest video, this was the longest, and it definitely did not feel like the longest video. <laughs> so, it starts off with uh, Russo-China and the gay community forming a treaty. <laughs> I don't know what those with lights With incredibly were. realistic looking faces, by, might I add. With the squarest jaws you might ever see outside of a Batman cartoon. And then... An historic day, ladies and gentlemen. A major step toward world peace. Get me a fi- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Our cell's too realistic. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> the guy's not talking! He's kissing us! <laughs> Those aren't lip flaps! <laughs> and then as soon as they're about to shake hands, shit blows up where Anime Man kills a bunch of guys. Yeah, he, he stabs a helicopter to death. Except um, Rock Jr. <laughs> it, everything explodes. Isn't he the guy, that anime guy from the beginning of Malcolm in the Middle? So, so then, Frightening Teeth pilot guy for the ship. Frightening Teeth guy doesn't really narrow it down for this <laughs> entire show, because there were many which, people... Which, yeah, which guy are you talking about? Like, the guy's captain of the ship. I don't remember him at all. Yeah, I remember his gone. face being scary as fuck. Oh, oh, I, oh yeah. I think I remember now. So, so shit blows up, Animu Man destroys everything, and then we see an old guy talking to kids, who's like one of the Battle Ring for Shinden fighters. Yes, sir. Here you You'll go, children. Enjoy, this, enjoy this little Put a little present. Of your tea and you'll kick <laughs> everybody's butt. There's two conversations going on. Why do you have to hear the second one? And he tries to fight Anime Fan in an alley and dies. And that's kind of the pattern for what ends up happening for the entire episode. Yeah, Anime Man just starts killing people. And we find out he's being controlled by, um, by Commander Sideboob. Who's... <laughs> You're on us! I like to go with Commander Side because like, you couldn't get more side boob out of her if it was possible. Well, we did get the full that, boob. At least from that angle. Yeah. We did get the full boob, though. Not from Uranus. Yeah, there is, there is a not from Uranus. No, we, we <laughs> got it from soap. We definitely gonna need some soap in that shower. Well, the soap was in the Darkstalkers cartoon. Yeah, on the TV! <laughs> Yeah, because like, America was advertising soap. Yeah, because the newest guy or whatever. Damn, we can't escape Darkstalkers. <laughs> so, okay. So, uh, we cut to AG riding a motorcycle with his clown car hair coming out of the helmet. And he and another guy fight, but they're actually friends, so they're like a Ryu and Ken of Batarina to Shinden, I guess. Pretty much. Real Rising Sun! <laughs> Shoulder cut! <laughs> he shot at me right! Let's yell over attacks! It's like they're based on a fighting game or something. Yeah, but like they don't need to yell random kicks and punches. Yeah, it's funny to see that. And they're like, shit's going down. Fighters are dying. And then we see another fighter die. Or, 
but to uh, unnatural, skinny, Usazima voiced guy. He doesn't die. He, they, he when he's riding the when Eiji's riding the motorcycle, there was a flashback to the guy that died, who's just recovering with the son and the mother that is no longer being captive. I guess well, that was another person. There was another person before him. He was like. No, I thought was that part of No, that wasn't that's not the guy who I'm talking about. The guy with big club. Where am I? What have you done with my wife and my son? Yeah, I know I know you could skinny guy attacked. Attack Same that. before that they showed a, a brief scene of a guy with like a Yeah, we don't see him again. Exactly. Oh, and we also saw Gaia with his hand that is permanently clenched like a supervillain. Yeah, it it was like covered in foil or it's something. Like, it's like it a lock job for your hand. Maybe it's uh, just arthritis? Arthritis, yeah. He needs one of those, like, uh, wrist... Gotta get the cream! Yeah, right like, there. Wrist the cream was, like, dripping off his hand. That's not how you apply that shit, dude. <laughs> I also love how his mask was broken, but then it was fixed in the next scene. And, and then the there was, I guess, one of the attacks that the skinny dude broke his entire armor off. And then he was big muscular. And I think Guy's voice changed after that, too. Your deductive skills are admirable, but I cannot allow you to capture me yet. Easy. Train yourself well. Only then can our true battle begin. <laughs> it, it, sounded it was different. already kind of like this, and then it went down a little more. <laughs> I'm acting now. It's, it's like halfway through the recording. They were like, wait, no, 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 you need me deeper. You need to puff your chest, chest out as much as possible. I don't care if your spine breaks as you're doing it. <laughs> they start, like, meeting up with other top fighters for this tournament that's not happening. And they, uh, AG takes time out to kick a bunch of kids' ass at soccer. Yeah, what a jerk ass. Like... Hey, mister! Over here! Hey, Mr. Did CJ voice that kid? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, just want to play a bit and just completely demolishes them. And now the kids are like no longer having fun. Yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot that I was like 15 years older than you and a hell of a lot stronger and faster. My bad. <laughs> but that is how he meets uh, Sophia. Who yeah. Was under control previously, and then they're just like, oh, it's not gonna happen. Anymore. Guess I, love how how I love how the first time we see her, she's wearing a big fucking sweater, and then later on, just, just she just, just loses more and more clothes as the episode goes <laughs> on. No, she just gets on. her fire attire yeah. on. Well, not that, that happens like after the Petrunas set shower scene. Well, she was she was coming on to him, and she was completely naked. But they jump out the window, and she's fully clothed. And she was trying to seduce them to like catch them up very. They really wanted to up to one up that Chun Li scene, Street Fighter movie. This is what happens when you hire some 90s animator director dude that also has done hentai. And can I say that just the pacing for when like Sophie, so uh, so, 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 the pacing for when Sophia and AJ are talking to each other, it's all just like five word sentences and there are these pauses in between. It just makes it drag on forever. You look well. Thanks, so do you. I've been staying here, teaching the kids. It's nice. Anyone else here? Nope, it's just me. You sure look happy. It could be a situation because in Japan they don't care if the lip flaps match, but we do. And they had to try to match it somehow. Well, we care about the lip flaps match, but it doesn't match in Dark Stalkers. Ever. <laughs> Nothing ever matches in Dark Stalkers. As long as she remembers that I am in charge. Ha! I am in charge. With the lipstick go up? It was. Anyway, Sophia gets reprogrammed. Sophia from Soul Calibur? When did she show up? She showed up now because I want to make this better. <laughs> so Sophia and a G fight each other, and a a G beats her by hugging her. Apparently, the power of love was enough to bring her back from the brink. I guess. And then his brother shows up, who dream murdered him. It was also a side. That that happened. That, with, that happened before the gratuitous boobs. So. That happened. No, it happened after. That the after dream, the dream. No, we're, the dream happens when we're talking about him showing up. He's referring to the dream, and then he showed. showed yeah. Up afterwards. Oh yeah, he yeah he did yeah. show up for real. I, I should probably should have specified that. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, and then he's 
beats AG, and then he gets he gets shot by Cupid and then explodes. He explodes from an arrow. <laughs> and Rambo. Yeah, that's true. And, and, and it turns out. <laughs> and then uh, and it, it turns out that Uranus just descends from her planet, talks a bit, and then goes away. She's like, "That's exactly what I wanted to happen. I wanted to lose my hundred million dollar cyborg." All right, bye. <laughs> <That's> data. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> what is the scientist and data? They like they like it. You it's, control the data. You control the people. That's not always the truth. But how, how do you know? They can be able to I don't know. It's all Wesker here. And then doesn't this fucking thing just end? Well, the first episode. Well, yeah, it, yeah. it ends when um, Anime Girl kills her uh, co-worker, I guess. <laughs> oh, we forgot to talk about uh, skinny open shirt dude. No, we brought kills him up the dead. We brought, he, we brought he, that he brought up. up. Did? Oh my god, I'm falling asleep doing this. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't. Yeah. Kill. This is how boring this shit he, was. He didn't kill him, he just sort of like... I can't even pay attention to the recap. By the time we got to Battle Arena Toshinden, I was checked out. But that is both this fault and this fucker's fault right here. <laughs> well, the characters in Battle Arena Toshinden are really flat, so if there's not fighting going on, it's really kind of a slog to get through. Just like the video games. E even when yeah. Alice like almost kills her circus act co-worker. I'll do my best! Just don't stick me! Here we go! Alice! <laughs> 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 uh, Alice! And there, was there something in between before it goes to... Um, yeah, AG twirls into the sky and tries to rip the sun in half, and then it ends. <laughs> and then we get that great ending theme song. Was it? Was the great ending theme song from this? I think it was from this, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. For some reason, I thought it was in Mega Man. Yeah, no, Mega, that was actually Mega, a Japanese Mega, song. Maybe it wasn't. Wait, no, no. Mega, oh, Mega how Man. did we miss the ending song for this? this? Was it in this one? Yes, it was like... Yeah. It was that like, was Mega Man? Yes. That was Mega Man. I'm getting it so confused because fucking Darkstalkers fucked me up. When I'm feeling down... <laughs> <laughs> to be <laughs> to be <laughs> when I'm feeling down... <laughs> Then you came along. Are you okay, Scott? No, nothing is okay. <laughs> I don't think we were expecting this. No. I, I had a feeling it was this, but then this happened, and then another song played, and I mixed it up. Back in your hands again. Summoning his inner Scott staff on this one. Come to Japan! <laughs> it just stopped! <laughs> it it just stopped! Just stopped. <laughs> Make me You learn about Japan! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like a weird, like, country, almost country style song. It's, it's like they got the lead singer from Creed to do it. Yeah. Can you take me higher to Japan's Mount Fuji? To a place where there's Mount Fuji. Right. By the way, Valerie has said that. Yeah, well, what he, else he is... cuts the sun in half again. Yeah. 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 Uh, it, even yeah. the credit sequence was pulled. This doesn't make me want to actually play the, the game on my place. I, 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 only, <laughs> I only have the sequel. Yeah, well, I also definitely have the first game on the theoretical PlayStation. I have a long box game. copy of the first game. I'm I sorry. Have, I have the first game, too. I want the second one because the soundtrack's actually really good. It's better than that. And half the music <laughs> in that doesn't sound appropriate for what's going on. Do you want my copy I found years ago? One, two, three, go! Oh, oh boy. Oh. No, because it's my fault. Don't tease me. I'll tease you however um, I want. No kiss. <laughs> what is this, Captain America? Civil War? Um, Half in the bag. What the <laughs> Captain Power? Why, why Captain Power? Um. Guess I'm a lousy actor, huh?
Yeah, you can yes. say that again. <laughs> All right, Scott, play us off. Gentlemen, which of these is the best? The, the, the worst? No, no, we can't do that. Though. Parody, it's not trademarked. The best? What did we like the most? Yeah, what? Well, who's going first? Uh, Blog, Blog Guy Gamer, Internet Personality, Blog Guy Gamer, why don't you go first? Which was the best of these? In terms of what? Like, like enter entertainment, entertainment, entertainment for whatever reason. Yeah. Uh, don't you dare say. And then tell us which one the worst say, is. I'm not gonna say it's dog, <laughs> dog stalkers. Um, dog stalkers. Dark stalkers. <laughs> See, the problem is the R and the L it screws it screws up, up, up too. Marty, so, we gotta go so back. It's not just the Japanese that have that. From it's the not just that have that problem. Okay? okay. Like you said, dark stalkers. Okay. Well, which one's the best in your opinion? Probably, it, probably Mega Man. Think Mega Man's the best. Yeah. Why is that? Yeah. Uh, because the animation quality was actually pretty good for an OVA thing, and and even though the dub wasn't very good at, at times, it definitely has sort of a weird charm. To a it. bad dub can keep can like almost make a a, sh a show great. Yeah, that's a thing. Too. And there's a lot and there's lots of, of absurd things that actually make it kind of kind of funny in, in that sense too, because like the part where Doctor Wiley just just pulled this. Pulls out a ninja outfit and just smokes bombs away. Yeah. Or how he commits suicide and lives through it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, which one's the worst? No, we don't pick no. that. Oh. Uh, Zero Master, I think I know where this is going. Okay. Um, my heart wants me to say Mega Man was the best, but I have to go with Captain Power. It was just the most entertaining of the bunch, <laughs> and I got the most out of it. Um, it's, it's terrible. The animation is awful, but, like, it was just so... Um, it was just so entertaining uh, to watch. Um, it was it was close though. I almost went with Mega Man as well, but um, but I just don't know. Captain Power just did it for me. It was the one that I had the most uh, um, fun with. And we should destroy Dark Stalkers. <laughs> we're not supposed. We talk about that after. One rule. Yeah. This one's the best. All right. So I'll tell you what isn't. Oh, you, oh, you knocked him. over Mega Man! No, oh, he's okay. He's Break okay. Case. Don't worry about it. Um, it's not gonna stand up. It's, now. A, it's okay. I'll fix him. Uh, Battle Royale to Shinden is boring. Oh my god! I, yes. I, I got I got nothing out of it other than just some gratuitous nudity that still doesn't do anything for me. And it's just there's really nothing. How dare you? Knock it down. We, oh, have, right. we have to maintain shot count. Fine. That was boring. Fuck Dark Stalkers. <laughs> I want nothing to do with this. This one, like, this can be funny bad, but it's teetering on painful you have to, to where it's just not funny anymore. We watched one episode and we're suffering. There are 13 of those. I feel bad for anyone that was looking forward to this, like, on TV when it aired. But like, I, it's so I obscure. Actually, like, Dark Stalkers is a fun game, don't get me wrong, but that is not the one I think of for making a cartoon show. I, I'm very curious what Hideaki Itsuno thinks about this series, because he pretty sure he probably he's the, the director of Dark Stalkers. <laughs> you know, I actually do remember seeing this on TV around when it came out. Well, of course you do. You've seen everything. Not everything. You, you, you've met Scott McNeil, right? Yeah, we thought he was Shawn Michaels. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, because he was wearing like the he was wearing a hat and stuff. Now, um, this this is where it actually gets difficult. Captain Power, I was excited for until it got to the game stuff, and then I just kind of lost interest because it was just there. There was funny stuff mm -hmm. from the dialogue and the animation mishaps. So, in theory, based on that alone, that could be my best of the worst, but. I gotta go with Mega Man. I, I was surprised the most by Mega Man by... I, I want to say the actual quality of it. Yeah, this actually has, like, production. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it does. Like, it felt... Well, so, it's, 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 so it's Battle to shit in, but... Yeah. Uh, like, animation and all that, like you said, it, it looks like Mega Man, and it kind of has that spirit. It's edutainment, though. Which is silly on its own right to us, 
It's, it's, like, it's targeted it, for kids. Yeah, it's like one of those like silly things you would see in, in like a school classroom, like they put they were bring a TV for type of thing, you know? So I'm I'm honestly gonna teeter towards Mega Man. I'm Yeah, because because Captain Power, well it is it was entertaining its own, right? You don't Captain really Power had the best ending. But then I heard the song to Mega Man and it got you thrown. But the problem with Captain Power is just watching it on its own without the, you know, the quote unquote interactivity. All you're doing is just watching like long scenes of like, you know, of ships flying around and going down long tunnels and all this flashing and stuff going on. And that kind of wears off and that kind of wears down after a while. So yeah, my, my, my pick of the night is Mega Man because now I want to do karaoke to that next song. <sighs> Alright, SCR. Uh, it's the best of the worst. This is going to be a tough one. Uh, it, it's not Battle Arena for Shin Ben. Because yeah. even like the fighting in that wasn't presented particularly well. Yeah. There's like a lot of anime stereotypes, people yelling attacks that just look like regular ass attacks. Were, now, then... were there any sound effects missing? Or I know there were sound effects missing from Dark Stalk, because I just don't remember. Sound effects missing? Tushin didn't have anything. It felt, it didn't feel like there was impact. It, not really. It, it was very like stock anime. There were times where like attacks were playing and you had no idea what they did to the other person. Yeah. It's because they had to translate the boost from the game into the to it. And it Which is really why they were doing the call ops. It's like, hey, we gotta we gotta sell our video game. Special moves, yeah. But I guess who else had to sell their video games? Pretty much everyone on this panel. Even though Captain Power is his own video game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's not Ballerina to Shinin. Fuck Dark Soccers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is where I have a little trouble, because I, I like the big dumb action stuff of Captain Power. And it's like less than 15 minutes, so it's direct, it's to the point, and then bam, it's over. Like, you don't even get the chance to smoke the cigarette after you're done. That's one Let's Play episode for me. <laughs> That that's under the YouTube limit. Yeah, we, we, we gotta we gotta get you the uh, TV interactive accessory. Yeah, I gotta I gotta let's play that. Watch yeah. it be like two hundred bucks. I don't know about that. I don't know how expensive. Mega Man, just said the same thing. Mega Man upon a star. For what it's worth, it's the best animated thing on the table. Oh yeah. In terms yeah. of actual animation quality, yes. <laughs> but in terms of what it's going for, it's supposed to be going for the entertainment learning about Japan sort of thing, and I really, I mean, I know I studied Japanese, but even if I hadn't, I didn't feel like I really learned much of anything about Japan from that. The, the only so, thing- you learned, they have lakes and skiing. The only they have trains. It's, it's the a, only thing I wasn't a aware of about was yeah. school within a school. Where yeah. you're stuck in school purgatory when but, you're- But right, and it's aimed at a really young audience. But too, everything so. else was so surface level. Entertainment wise, you can say, Oh, I know that just from passing mention. I assume, like, if we turn the Japanese audio version of this on, the Japanese in it's gonna be really simplified. But it's like an, you know, it's like a, that's like an easy, like, point to this was made for really little kids. But would that get rid of the American song at the end? I can't think of I don't know. lose that. <laughs> so, so, what do you think? Now, even considering, like, the younger audience thing, how much, like, are you actually going to pick up from that? Well, the other thing we also got to consider is that, with, with the exception of Captain Power, we didn't proceed past the initial part. Yeah, we there only are two more episodes parts. on this, which could provide more info or just straight up be action. We have no yeah, idea. Yeah, we only saw the, saw the first parts of these. Like, we know what's coming with these two. Mega Man is actually, we don't know. Like, uh, like the other two are gonna be, yeah. It, and the weirdest thing is, even though there's two other episodes, it ended like that could have just been it. It seemed like More it had less, a full yeah. circle closure. But I think it's like just, because they're most these self-contained OVAs, so that's probably it. So, so uh, which one's the best? Take us home, come on. I gotta go with Captain Power. Oh. I mean, so we got a tie. We got a tie. I, got a tie. I just love the big dumb action -y stuff. I love how incredibly cheesy and like low rent, even though that's where all the budget run went to uh, the live action portions of this. I love Klingon Man talking like he's in a Skype call. <laughs> <laughs> Klingon Borg. 
And yeah, it was very quick to the point. Bam, you're done. You can go about the rest of your day. And, oh, I think we can all agree that this one was boring. That, that's yes. boring, but <laughs> don't break it. She, she I think it's. It. I think it's already done uh, for. Um, this one hands off. Do not underestimate the strength of a VHS tape. I know. Yeah, I you're don't. right. But this one was fucking it. bad. We we can all agree. This we one I, was we got bad. lots of entertainment value out of it, but it was so fucking bad. I do. He's making me reconsider my pick for best of worst. I, I the the abruptness of oh, fuck man. <laughs> Captain Power might be winning me over, but I, I... You know what? We can have ties. We can have ties. I wish I could just pick both of these equally. Honestly, brief, brief, funny, most quality. Let's run, shit. let's run this over. Should we destroy it, though? It's kind of a collector's item now. No, uh, I wouldn't. Can we cheat out like YouTube people do and like destroy a JPEG of it? We could do that. By the way, we can sub to new type. Isn't that great? So we finally decided how we're going to destroy Darkstalkers. Zero Master here had a bowling set in his trunk, so we're going to knock it over as hard as we can. Did you get this at the dollar store again? Best price! Come on. Bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> you to do? Should I do like a Flintstones thing? Like a... If you want. If you want. Yeah! It's not a strike, but yes, Darkstalkers is dead. Strike! Yeah!